ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the third season of Digimon Podcast. It's me, uh, Matt Banwart, and I'm here with my brother. Chris Banwart. Thank you. And uh, we'll be reviewing the third season of Digimon, um, also known as Digimon Tamers, unless you're Japanese listening to this in American, um, in which English. case... Uh, American. Uh, American. In which case, then, you would call it Digimon Adventures 3, despite the fact it has nothing to do with the first two seasons of Digimon, which are referred to as Digimon Adventures. For those of you who aren't into Digimon now, you know that the first two seasons of Digimon, Digimon 1 and Digimon 02, are considered yeah. Digimon Adventures. However, it, uh, it is worth noting that, you know, d- depending on how far you get into this podcast, there might be one character that crosses over. Who knows? Who knows? There might be there might be a character, and this so, and this and this character might have shown up in a, in the background of Digimon Adventure O two literally once, but they still make it. Uh, Make yeah. Confirmation that they're in the same universe. Well, this is whatever. this is a nice tease. This is a nice tease for for yeah. those of you yeah. um, for those who are watching. By the way, we're gonna be doing this one episode at a time. We're gonna start with episode one today, and then I think kind of the show starts off slow. So I think the second episode we're gonna do episodes two and three of the TV show. Um, yeah. So that's kind of we're gonna do two episodes per podcast episode, if that makes sense of the show. But we're reviewing episode one of Digimon Tamers. Um, anything else you want to get out of the way about, about Tamers, Chris? Anything? Yeah, all right, yeah. So, um, Digimon Tamers, uh, it's something worth talking about a little bit here. Um, so, in all the Digimon franchises here, uh, the main character wears goggles. And, uh, that, yes. that's, just, that's just a fact. It's just, like, this weird thing that they do. Um. Every time. Every time. And so. And so, you know, um, they're the big boss man. Yeah, they got, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, then there's always, like, a Vegeta-like character. Or he's, like, he's, like, the rival but like that's like the only thing he has in common with Vegeta. You know, if you guys haven't seen Dragon Ball, you're not gonna understand that reference. He's he's like uh, he's like the rival. I don't. He's like, he's like the rival, but like they're also like buddies. But they're also buds. They're also, they're also cool. buds. They're also tight. I don't know if there necessarily is one in this in Digimon. No, it really isn't. That's why it's they kind of like this trio dynamic. It's kind of like. But we have trio. we have yet to get to the trio. We're on the first episode. So so far yeah, in yeah. the so first all, episode, all, all three characters have been seen this far. We have uh, all two. No, we, we haven't seen. No, we no, no. Seen... We, we saw Henry at the end. At the end of the episode. Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's three characters with Digimon that we've seen on screen. Uh, first one, we have Takato. He's the main character. He's chilling with his buddies. Takato, yeah. So that's kind of where this that's kind of where this episode starts. It starts off with a, a you see. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna take you through the, kind of kind of the episode starts off. Yeah. Uh, we see a Digimon fighting the digital world, and a Digimon is sent, uh, back to to what is our world or uh, the the world of Digimon yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, the real world within the show. The Digi world and the real. And world. then and then it cuts to Takato and and his boys. This is a weird thing. Oh, you're playing cards. They're playing cards. They're playing Digimon. They're reenacting the fight that just happened with their cards. But what messes with me is the we playground. Don't know that. The playground in the show. The playground that Takato is always chilling at. It is like the grossest looking playground I've ever seen. And no one, no one. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm with you on that. So the, the the playground is like. It's made of just like like half cement dinosaurs. Yeah, and so so it was, it, and like it's literally only half the dinosaur and his buddies. They're playing in this one that's like a it's like a stegosaurus, but it doesn't have a head on it. Yeah, it's like a headless where, where, where stegosaurus. Where the neck should be, there's a clock for some reason, and they just they crawl up inside of it, and then they like they just like have their cards and they just leave it there. Yeah, now, that's listen, crazy. Gonna, they, they, I, I hate to I hate to be the one to drop some facts on Takato's head right now, but there's definitely gonna be a homeless man living in there. If not this week, then next week. All right, yeah. like the fact that that is that they just leave their cards there when they go to school. Astounds me. Yeah, yeah. For those of you, first season of Digimon Tamers, first episode, they literally, they, yeah, they they hang out in this like playground and they just leave their their cards there and they go to school every day. And it's just like so, like how is how has no one not figured out the little cubby spot? Because it's like it's not even like a good cubby spot because it's big enough to fit three, like, presumably quite, like yeah teenagers. Like oh, like, how old like are they? Twelve year old. I'd say twelve. I'd say twelve. Like pretty comfortably too. Like he's you can a pretty fit, mature twelve year old. In there, you can fit the whole squad in there. Takata's a pretty mature twelve year old. Yeah, but he's he's like twelve. Really? I like, Bro, I I'm certain he's like twelve. I get like fifteen vibes. That's cap. I get I, Takata's like for sure fifteen. All right, if you're if you're listening to this podcast and you're hearing this absolute buffoon, he's for sure a virgin though. Yeah, yeah. He's I mean, I'm gonna sure. be real. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, no. Pulls does not pull. Does not. He does pull. not pull. No, Takata, which is weird no. though, because you'd you'd think Takata would pull. I mean, no. I mean, everyone would think Takata would pull, but like, no, no, definitely not. His his parents are bakers. Yeah, right. His dad's a chef. We we see his dad later no, in the no, episode. He's, he's just a baker, dog. He just makes bread. Like yeah, it's bro. not even like he makes anything cool. He just makes bread. Yo, dude, like, yeah, dude. Just, just imagine, just imagine, like when you're a little kid and you're picking what you're gonna do for the rest of your life, and you're like, I'm gonna make bread. And everyone's like, Oh, heck yeah, dude. But then no, you literally mean like like yeast and flour. That's a shame. Yeah, I don't know if this is like like culturally insensitive, but like 
Are Japanese people known for their good bread? I feel like other cultures like are known for like having good bread. La baguette. La baguette, like <laughs> French. <laughs> yeah, like like croissant. But, and like uh, like uh, like uh, Hispanic cultures are like the tortilla. But like, what is like dumplings? Like, I feel like Japanese people don't even make good bread. His dad's not even objectively from from cultural <laughs> from a cultural imperialistic <laughs> perspective, not even a good baker. You know, because the, the the show does take place in in Japan. They they do they do this at what's the town name? Oh goodness, for the life of me, I couldn't remember. Hitachi or something. It's, it's like it's like yeah yeah, but Subaru. Uh, I don't even know. But, Subaru. No, that's a car. I. Well, you trying to bring you're trying to bring cars into this. I. Speaking of cars, Takato doesn't even whip. Yeah, dude, right? he does not have a car. He does not have a car. <laughs> but what's crazy is the, this man just, way, the man just bikes places. Yeah, what's crazy is by the way, this is uh, it's an actual town in Japan. Like you can like lo- the locations that are on the show, you can actually look up on the map are like actual locations. Yeah, and that's, and that, that's a big trend in Digimon because even though we're not doing anything or pertaining to Digimon season one and season two, um, we will not. This is we, we this will is not. the third is season of Digimon podcast. Digimon season three, um, aka Digimon Tamers. So. In uh in, in the first season they they actually are in Heighton View Terrace that is uh that's where it that's where it takes place mm-hmm. yeah I believe that's a, that's a real place that's like a real like a uh, Suzuki it's like, it's like Suzuki a of, uh, I'm pr- Suzuki like a Japan Suzuki Japan I think they they said in the episodes I right, yeah. Chris what, what are some other things that happen in this episode we want to break down real quick yeah yeah so uh, pretty much this this episode is a part of something I like to call the card sales arc um so uh, Digimon <laughs> Digimon at this point Digimon at this point in uh, and like in the culture was just not nearly as big as Pokemon. Pokemon's killing it. Pokemon has this great card game. Uh, we actually looked through our Pokemon cards last night. So that's how relevant it is. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, they're selling these great games. Digimon's selling these games. They're not getting much. They're not getting anywhere. They're One selling sec. these cards. They're not getting anywhere. Um, yeah, yeah. We actually have some Digimon cards here that we got at a garage sale for 25 we have, cents. We have some, some Digimon, Digimon battle card game. Yeah. But this is based off Digimon Tamers. This is not based off the season. We got it for 75 cents at a card game. Or this is based on Digimon Adventure, he means. No, 70, Digimon Adventure. 75 cents. 75 cents, cents yeah. Uh, and, and the Digimon card game is, is like, rigid. It's, it's, it's trash. It, However, I have seen that there's, a there's like, a one Digimon card game that happened, like... I think like they had the, multiple. The, 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 I, I know, think... but there, there, there was, like, another one that came out that apparently was really, really good. It just never, like, got any traction. Like, I've seen, like, videos reviewing it. But, yeah, no, Um. so th- this is the Digimon card sales arc. So pretty much what they do is they just, like, play on these cards, and they have these little, like, cool little little Tamagotchi things, and they, they slide their cards, and it's like, oh, look, it does these really cool things. And it's implied yeah. that, that their battles uh, actually take place in Digital World based on the uh, intro. We discussed that a little bit. But, yeah, so essentially, here's here's where things start to get crazy. Okay, one second, right? real quick, time out. Before you, before you go on from the card game real quick. We'd like to thank our sponsor. Oh, yeah, we'd like to thank our sponsor. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I wish we had a sponsor. Oh, I, mean, I have no money. We like to thank Anchor Podcasting for sponsoring us. I don't know if we're going to use Anchor yet. We have yet to talk about this, but hey, hey, can you bring those? Hey, bring this over here. Bring, hey, guys, our mom's in the background. Hey, everybody, give up for our mom. Hey, make some noise. Our Instagram. Yeah, oh, here, mom. it's mom. Come over here. Hey, real quick. Real quick. She's mom. Locked in. That's okay. Hey, give me those. Okay, thank don't you. Don't say anything. Cool, thank cool. You. I'm going to put these thank on you, so you guys mom. know I'm the lead of this. Oh, he has the goggles. He has you're, the goggles. You're the Vegeta of this. You're the Matt. I'm the, I'm the, all right. I, I, you guys can't see I've got goggles on. I bet. Um, right. So anyway, no. Hey, so the card game is weird because because uh, I mean I it's been a while since I've seen this show, but they they push the card game really on in this show, and it's all about the card game. And and we, as, as you watch the other episodes, the cards become more and more relevant uh, with the Digimon. But um, it's just like dropped. I feel like at some yeah, point, yeah, and it's, no, the rules. We're gonna the, get to that. We're the rules that. are never explained. There's never any strategy associated with it, and that's honestly one of the biggest like downfalls of like I would love for them to be like I don't know because I feel like I feel like. In some shows, like the way to format it would be like you start off the show and they're playing a card yeah. game. He does like a like a strategy in the card game. You know, he's like, "Ooh, look at this mechanic of the game that's cool." And then later on, you see it done in an actual fight to show that there's some sort of like correlation between the two, or like, or like, "Ooh, look, like I learned this trick in the card game and now I'm applying it to real life." Yeah, yeah, and like, and like, like that'd the be one a great thing, way, to, like, a better way to push the card game. Yeah, because because honestly, what the card game looks like is like, "Oh, look, I'm playing my Digimon and now I can digivolve him." Or I can apply any of these cool little like boosts yeah, to it. Just, it just looks very basic. Yeah, and that's what it is. And then anyway, so at the at the end of the episode though, um, we actually see a little bit of the card game's usefulness. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, but continuing on, kind oh, of yeah, the so episode progression. He goes he goes to school and he, he's late to class. Oh, well, and no, so no, no, no. This is happens before that. It happens before that. Oh, okay, yeah. So sorry. he's uh, he's he's getting he's getting ready to go to school. He drops his digi cards and shit, and then there's like one that's blue, and he's like, "Yo, yo," and he slides the blue yo! card. Yo, he slides the blue card. 
into his into his his little digivice, his little like Tamagotchi. It's not a digivice yet; it's a Tamagotchi thing. He slides the card into Tamagotchi, and then it starts like sparking. And he's like, "Sparking!" He's like, "Oh, that's cool!" And throws it back, and then runs to school. Dude, what's crazy is what? Time out. It's like sparking. There's like sparks flying from it, and then he throws it into a tin with his other cards, like as if it wouldn't start a fire. Yeah, he was just that's like, pretty, fuck it, I guess. <laughs> Takato's like hella <laughs> response. He's like, oh no, there's sparks. And he's like, I'll throw it in with a bunch of dry paper. And then just this like puts a, puts, a, puts a lid on it and leaves. Nothing to fear here, you know? Nothing to fear here, baby. And then he goes to school and he's late to school. and uh, Gets in trouble. And he's he's like, his teacher's like, you're late. But his teacher, oh my gosh, the teacher's like. She's so, just kind of bad. She's so cute. She's kind of bad, yeah. She's not like bad as in like a bad girl, but she's bad as in like girl next door kind of cute. Like, you know I, mean, I mean, like. If I had to go to detention, I'd be out with that. Yeah, I know what I mean. Oh I mean yeah, you guys can check out our other podcast, uh, Stepsis Loves Me Reviews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my gosh, she's a baddie. No. Anyway, she's a, she's a bad dude. She's like a she's like a like wears a sundress and like points out license plate, kind of cute. Yeah, and that's and that's pretty gas. Um, anyway, yeah, so then anyway. after after school, he goes back. No, no, hey, time and, out. Uh, at, at school, so we we see him. He's like he's like drawing his own Digimon because he plays the Digimon oh, card yeah, game. Yeah, and he's yeah. like he's like. I'm gonna draw my own Digimon. So he draws his own Digimon, and oh, this uh, part's hilarious. Yeah, and he, yeah. And he calls it what's he called? He, he calls it like Flame Dragon. And he's like, oh, let's Flame Dragon Mon, or oh no, I'll call it, I'll call it like Gilmon. Like, like, yeah, no. And so he's so he's naming off all these things, just like what about Deadly Lizard Mon? And then he's like, wait a minute, I got it. Gilmon. And it's like it's like you're telling me you came up with all these like a hard names, and it ends up on like. Geoman. What, like, what does that mean? mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. They need an original name, and they were just like, dude, dude, dude we're gonna make it seem like this is organic and not just non-copyright. Yeah, like it is silly. What were you gonna say pain. next? It's Rob, pain. And then after that, he heads home. He heads yeah, yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's not, he, heads, he heads back to he the. Dis- he heads by back the way, to the to, to the park. Time out. If I remember correctly, this is like a reoccurring thing. Oh yeah, he. Oh yeah, he heads back to the park. Sees that like, dude, this is crazy because there's like this happens a lot in the there's early like, part there's of like, the show. There's like lightning bolts flying everywhere. Yeah, there's like there's like. These giant, like, comically large, like, lightning bolts, like, digit, like, like, z- 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 like, around, I don't know what to call it, like, it's like, z- z- like electrifying, of electricity. like, electrifying the cement playground, which, by the way, cannot be safe, and, uh, and, and then he goes up, and he's, like, he sees, like, his, his tin that his cards are in, in the, in the, glowing? in the sparking digivice is, and there's, like, bolts coming off of it, yeah, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, shocked, there's, like, electricity all over it, and then he just grabs the metal tin, Knowing full and well, he threw in a, a, a you know, a sparking, a sparking electronic Tamagotchi device. thing. Yeah. Keep in mind, the metal tin is like glowing right now. Like, and there is yeah. lightning coming off of it. He just opens it up, reaches in, and he's like, oh, look, instead of my Tamagotchi thing, there's a Digivice now. And he somehow knows what a Digivice is. Like, yeah. Because yeah. like- here's the weird thing about this show, and I don't know if we talked about this earlier. So, this show, they play the card, they play the Digimon card game in this show. So it's implied that the TV show Digimon exists in this world. So this world, in theory, in theory, although it's not because there's things that neglect this later on, but in theory, this show takes place in a world where the TV show Digimon exists within this show. Like, like this yeah. guy has seen Tamers on TV as a as a cartoon, and that there's Digimon merchandise in this show, despite the fact no one is aware that Digi World actually exists. So it's it's kind of complicated because this world's almost like self aware of the fact that Digimon is like. Its own franchise, but at the same time, it's not self aware of it. It's very weird. It's very awkward. Um, yeah, it, it, it's it, yeah, I agree. It's very strange. But uh, yeah, th- then he decides to go home. All right, with this, with all this stuff in tow, because I guess it stops like electrocuting things. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he he never gets shocked once. Never, there's, never once. It, there's literally just like he's bolts literally of holding on to it, and you can see electricity bolt. Anyway, it's ridiculous. Anyway, like, so he goes home. No, I'm no electrician. I love, I love, I love how Takato. Every time he comes home, he literally never talks to his parents. He walks by. He's like, uh, I'm in a hurry. And I'm like in her dad, and he's room. like, okay. He never talks to his, his, and his dad just seems like his mom and dad just seem like the nicest, most generic people. They're, they're literally bakers. They they bake bread. They honest. They just seem so nice, and he never talks to him. He's not rude. Like just imagine if just imagine if our dad loved us. <laughs> oh, I literally can't imagine. He's not rude. <laughs> Once again, he's not like rude oh. to them. He's just like he just runs by. Yeah, no, he's just like yeah, he just is always in a hurry. And so yeah, then he then he he goes upstairs, right? And he like he throws his digivice down in his like desk and he's like, I'm gonna scan in these drawings of Geomon. Yeah, so he which starts- doesn't, which doesn't make, how does he know to do that? Like how I just don't I just don't get this. All right. And then no, he No, I get that. I get that. He's well, like, then, he, then he just it. throws it down right next to it. And then it starts like the like, printer in it. It's like Well no, then, then he leaves and he's like, oh no, I got it stuck, but now it's time for dinner. He comes back. 
Yeah, so that's crazy, by the way. By the way, so that's crazy. So his Digivice is there, and the Digivice, like, like starts absorbing his drawing of the Digimon he himself made, which, by the way, is cool. Because then, spoiler, the Digimon comes alive, right? The Digimon that he drew becomes real. But how crazy would it be if he scanned something apart from the Digimon? If he, like, scanned, like, another, like, if he scanned, like, a baseball card with his Digimon, just be like (laughs) Mickey Mantle, would it be like, I'm here to swing a bat? (laughs) <laughs> just like just, just imagine like babe ruth comes on and he has just like a sex addict digimon yeah, he's, like, <laughs> he's like you know what i mean he's like, just like he's just like takato i just want to feed me 50 hot dogs <laughs> just like, just like, where's the prostitutes and he yeah. just gets a babe ruth as a digi because this thing this like, thing what, obviously what, doesn't what follow scanned? any specific rules it just scanned like construction paper of a drawing and was like all right i can roll with this he's like, he's like i'll make it That'd be funny, dude. I like the idea of like I'm Babe Ruth, man. <laughs> like I'm Babe Ruth. I'm Babe Ruth. <laughs> Shoeless Joe, man. Takato, I'm illiterate. <laughs> Help! Because <laughs> Shoeless Joe's an illiterate baseball player. That's funny, dude. No, I, th- I just think it'd be so phenomenal if the show was just like him and like all his like giant Digimon and like like what does Babe Ruth Digi evolve into? Just like a human steroid, like <laughs> <laughs> he just becomes really, really big. And he's just Babe Ruth, but like a little bit taller. <laughs> just like Megaform Babe-, Babe Ruth is just Babe Ruth, except he just has a machine gun yeah. just stay stay in true digimon form <laughs> yeah, yeah he just gets a gun he was like why metal babe ruth ma <laughs> he just has a gun babe ruth but he's got like metal on his face and shit <laughs> <laughs> he's like i'm a cyborg you're like bitch we knew it <laughs> Dude, I just, Shoeless Joe Mon just uh, evolves into the the he, person who rigged the World Series. He's, he's like scan. He like like he scans Gilmon and Gilmon comes yeah, life yeah, and yeah. he was like, "Damn, dude, my first." I'd go home and be like, "Yo, Dad, uh, where's the the spring issue of Playboy uh, of Sports <laughs> Illustrated? Sports <laughs> Illustrated?" And he's just like, "He's like, where's damn, look, <laughs> like I got Pamela Anderson." <laughs> 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 Damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll digivolve you. He just, he, he just goes to his dad's like man cave and takes the Sports Illustrated calendar out of there. Yo, speaking. Hey, speaking of things <laughs> you know that are the, the speaking of things that are cute as hell. Um, Renamon. We get to see Renamon in this episode. He goes to sleep that night. He has a dream where he sees uh, Renamon. Oh yeah, yeah. He goes. To, he goes to sleep. Yeah. And um, Renamon's tamer. She is. Her name wasn't Rika. Said, Rika. It's Rika. 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 And her Digimon. And um, I don't know if you've ever gone into a website, an adult website, and you've seen um. Uh, uh, like it's like like one of the ads is like it's. I always see this ad. Is this just me? This might just, this might just be you. It's only it's always in incognito. So I don't have like past history of what I'm looking up. But it's always like uh, it's like random on. on like yeah, no, sense. actually, yeah, 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 yeah. There's like a lot of like, no, random no, no. on smut, and so, I don't know why. Um, I'll be honest. I go to because this of, show like, wasn't I, big. Yeah, no, I I go to a lot of like sketchy websites to, like watch like movies. Like, um, like, well, like, like everybody, everybody time out, time out, time out. By movies, by movies. By movies, I literally mean like movies. It's like anime. I like, like, oh, yeah. I mean, like, 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 drop, I mean, drop, drop the website names. What are they? Like watch cartoon well, watch, online. Watch cartoon online. Or watch cartoon online. Watch cartoon online. All right. It's got all. It's got all my anime it's on got, there. It's got a lot of. You got a lot that's of animated actually, that's TV shows. We watched uh, this show. Yeah. Um. That's our sponsor. Watch cartoon online. <laughs> it's um, not. It's not. I, I, um, I use sportsurge.net when I'm trying to find sports. Yeah. Like everybody. Everybody uses these websites. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude, I don't. I'm not and, paying uh, for cable, dude. And there's just a bunch of really, really weird. Uh, I've actually seen quite they a few random ads. It's always. It's always smut ads. It's always. I don't understand. Like I don't. I honestly. I've never clicked on one. Who honestly, who honestly is buying the ad space for Watch Cartoon Online? Who is like, 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 you know what I mean? Because like, it's not, it's not Google. Because Google's the one that usually, when you ever see like those square ads on website, usually yeah. they run through Google AdWords or Google AdSense. I do digital marketing professionally. Like, who, what company is like? Yeah, I sell, I sell the ad space, but uh, only the ad space for for um for cartoon websites. Um, that and are also technically illegal. So yeah, I, I sell websites for borderline illegal cartoon streaming services, um, and also my only clients are adult sites and yeah. weird and weird like RPG video games. <laughs> like <laughs> there's like a whole section of the internet of just like of just like weird like niche websites, and it's always like the same ad group. It's always just like I don't know. Like welcome to heavygames.com. We have video games targeted for teenage men, and we only have ads for RPGs and like bizarre animated porn. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so that's pain. I, gosh, I hope our mom never finds this podcast. No, it's like I hope um, my mom does find this podcast. No, no, no. But um, anyway, back back to the story here. You ever have that happen at the library? Li- time out. No, no, time no, no, out. No, no, time no, out. No, stop. No, 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 we're still on this. We're still on this. You ever have that like at the library? Like when you're a kid, when you're like at like like before yeah. miniclip.com took over, like I. 
like you, I used to go to like, like you'd have to like find these like weird gaming websites, and it'd always be like a small gaming website, and they'd all have like the same like flash games on or whatever. Yeah, but they always had like smut ads. And you'd be like at the local library because like just we had a praying bad the librarian didn't walk behind you. Because like you'd be like you'd be playing like like Snake or like Tron or like Pac Man on these computers, and it'd be like like you're playing like the most innocent childhood like simple game. Like to the right of it is like like a like a it's sexy just, like it's just the biggest tits I've ever seen on on like on Marge like Simpson frog. or something. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. It's, it's, always like, Marge it's always like Marge Simpson. It's always like Marge Simpson. I don't know. It's I don't like, know why. Who, who design? I've never I've never once in my life like looked at an ad of like a sexy Marge Simpson or a sexy Renamon and been like i need this but i don't i don't know it's a weird i don't know who makes these ads anyway back to digimon okay. tamers <laughs> what a tangent what a tangent we're um, here for it, man that's what yeah. you're here for anyway so digimon tamers right uh so after anyway after he wakes up from this dream he looks back at his little digivice thing he has now he sees that the because there was like an egg that appeared all right time out let's just he, get to this episode real quick okay yeah yeah he sees the egg he appeared the his digimon forms he crawls through a tunnel steps on a rat and then uh Guillemon comes and fucking and and destroys a rat with a giant fireball yeah just and it really not he destroys a pipe too he goes to like metal with it too yeah yeah and then he just looks at Takato and that's where the episode ends yeah dude and honestly time out here's the best part of the show the best part of the show I'm scared I kid you the not. Dudes in the chairs? No. Oh, they're okay. Yeah. So there's like these. We'll talk about it in the next episode. Next episode. Next episode. episode, next episode. We'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they exist. They happen in this episode. We'll break it down in the next episode more. But my favorite part of Digimon Tamers Digimon season three is the announcer at the end is so good. The narrator at the end is like, "Tune in next week to see what happens. Will Zakato get fried or will his parents?" <laughs> Learn to love him. Just like something just like, <laughs> no, but, he, but he has like the coolest skater man vo voice it's, it's, ever. It's literally like, it's you can tell it's the voice actor for Takato, and he's just like, wow, that, that Digimon's totally whack, yo. And it's just like, it's just aggressive. He's it's wiling aggressive. out. It's, it's like, I can just imagine like nowadays, it'd be like, is Takato gonna get capped? <laughs> or is I this cap? <laughs> is this cap? <laughs> it's like, it's always the announcer, like, it's so. That's the problem with early 2000s, like late 90s things, is they feel like they're almost parodying themselves. They're so, <laughs> they're so they are so much. <laughs> they're so much. He's gonna get grilled, I think is what he says. He's like, he's like, Diado's gonna get grilled. Watch out, fam. And it's just like wild. It's like pain. Pain. Anyway, guys, that's our review of the first episode of the third season of Digimon. Uh, tune in next, next time. time. <laughs> episode three of the Digimon uh, season three yeah. podcast. Episode two and three, you're gonna do it. Uh, we're, yeah, we're gonna record the second and third episode of Digimon Tamers here. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And once again, thank you for our sponsor, um, the company that sells <laughs> smutty cartoon ads to kids' websites. Uh, is that you're the scum of the earth? Seriously, who, I don't know. Whatever. It was my sexual awakening. Okay, bye.